Good evening. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a true story. I'm going to tell you about my Frontier Communications experience and the horror of the experience. Now, the backstory a few years ago, we actually had phone service with Frontier, but it was very difficult and poor quality and had some issues. It came about, I got word in the mail that Frontier had upgraded our internet infrastructure out in the country, out here, and that we could get speeds up to 25 megabits per second, and currently we were on bridge max which has point to point antennas we're paying I think sixty four dollars a month for about eight megabits of internet and as I add more devices to the farm I need uh, quicker speeds so when the opportunity came up of getting uh, 25 up to 25 megabytes down for uh, twenty twenty dollars cheaper I figured you know I had had bad experience with Frontier in the past but I'll give them another chance on August 14th of 2018 I went on to Frontier's website and submitted saying hey I want to have internet then some time went by I paid the security deposit and nothing happened. On August 23rd, I was given a confirmation number for the $84 deposit and was told that it was due September 6th. I was emailed saying that they would follow up after the installation is completed. So I waited, I waited, and I waited. I started communicating with Frontier via their social media Facebook account because I figured that in the past has been the best way to get current information. So I'm just looking down to reference the uh, messages that I had with them so that I don't miss any details. So on August 22nd, I told them I paid for the deposit and the installation, but you never showed up on Tuesday for the install. My wife made sure not to leave the house all day. Not a great way to introduce a new customer to your service. They replied, Matt from the social media team said, thank you. I will get this escalated and once the account manager has investigated, they will contact you directly. Can I also get your email address? Then September 4th, I say, hey, I'm still waiting for the install. I paid the installation fee, but haven't heard anything back. Then Eva says, Hi Bradley, do you have a pending order? I gave her what I thought the order was. Then she asked for my address. Then she says, Thank you, your order is pending for Thursday, September 6th. Then I replied, So the install will happen this Thursday? That is correct, Eva says. What time? The window of arrival is 1 to 5 p.m. Okay. Then September 6th comes by. Still no install person yet, I say. Then Bella replies via Facebook saying, Bradley, I see that the technician is already working on your ticket. And then I reply, you mean are they on site? And Bella says, not necessarily on site. He could be at the central office before going to your home if that is needed. And I replied, I just don't want to get my hopes up that we will have internet installed and cause my wife to have to stay home all day. Um, she likes to take the girls out to play group and socialize. And then I'm told from Bella that the tech will contact you to call back number um, that was provided. I made sure to give them my correct phone number and then I said, two days in a row, was told that I would be contacted by the tech. Never contacted. 
Well, maybe it was just Bella that um, would uh, make empty promises. But no, it continues. Diane says, Bradley, please contact your account manager. Uh, she sent you an email today at 3.04, and this is uh, September 7th. I said, which email? I don't see any email. Maybe their internet was down. How am I supposed to contact her? Then they gave me her email address. I said, nope, didn't get an email from her. And then Diane tells me to please send an email to her so that she'll contact me tomorrow. Now we move on to September 10th. I told Frontier Communications that I sent her an email. No response. No call from the tech. Trying to call and was on hold for 15 minutes. Seems like a terrible customer service rampant across Frontier. Every person that I had been in contact thus far had said that I would receive a call. No call was given. So on September 10th, a online tech named Paul said, hello, Bradley, I pulled your order and it is allocated for tech Mike today after 11 a.m. Then I said, so what does that mean? Just that Mike isn't going to call me with the status like I've been told by the last five people that I would receive a call, that I would get some information about the update He said that the tech tried to call about seven minutes ago and was currently showing that he was on site. I told them I never got the call, never got any message, never got any email. And then they, uh, a guy named Jeff says that uh, looks like he was down the road identifying a problem with the line and referred to the ticket. And I told them that's what I was told last week. To put this in context, I was sent a postcard saying, hey, you have the possibility of getting 25 megabits down. Hurry, order Frontier Internet. What ended up happening was, hurry up and wait. I was told that tech after tech was going to give me a call, give me a status update. No call. I would even get robocalls saying, hey, our tech is going to be at your house between 8 a.m. and noon. No tech. And obviously, I'm interacting with uh, a few people through their Facebook page, or at least they're using different signatures, so it's not isolated to one person in the organization. It seems like that lack of communication and making empty promises is the backbone of Frontier Communications company. And I was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but each time they kept on reiterating and reinforcing these bad customer service practices. Okay, so now we're on to September 17th. It's over a month now trying to get internet installed at my house. Luckily, I'm still using Bridge Max uh, during this time. And so then I said, I gave them the order number and I made a call and submitted the payment and it said, what state are you in? Is the home new construction? Denise, I told her no. This house has been here since the 1990s. And let's see. Denise told me that they're waiting on an engineer to replace a bad section of wire to get service to your location. Okay, um, no, no status as far as when, when that might be, be done. So then I reply back on the 20th. So I received a call yesterday saying that the internet guy was going to arrive today from 8 a.m. to noon. Still no internet guy. This is ridiculous. 8.14th. I, August 14th of 2018, I ordered the internet. It is now September 20th. Still no internet. So Paul, circle back to Paul, I must have uh, messaged about the same time Paul's shift is. He said, I do apologize for the delay. I do show your ticket is allocated for field tech, Chris, for today. 
Then I ended up posting to their Facebook page, or I tagged them more or less. I said, Frontier Communications is really great at dropping the ball. Over five weeks since I ordered the internet. That started to um, pique their interest. So then shortly after that, so then I told them that if the internet does not get installed shortly, I will end up having to make a public video. By the way, I do currently have internet. But the reason why I'm making this video is so that folks out there, when you may have another choice besides Frontier, really weigh your options. Unfortunately, out here in the country, I'm limited. I had been with one company that dropped us because they could not guarantee service. I went to another company and they were charging a whole bunch for a lot of little. So that's why I was like, might as well give Frontier a try. If it doesn't work, then I'll just not go through with it. Okay, so let's see where we're at. So Toby told me, our apologies if this was your experience. Chris, as mentioned above, your ticket is allocated for today. September 20th of 2018. I should, and then I responded, there should also be a lot of notes on my ticket over the last five weeks. Then Toby mentions, here in the social media department, we have very limited access to your full account information, Bradley, but I'm sure that your account is fully noted. Then September 21st, I said no one showed up yesterday. Then Paul says, I'm sorry that we missed, um, missed you dispatch I have read the notes from the tech and he noted that we have a bad section on cable on the road and that it needs to be dug up repaired cannot run a temp due to the cable running under the road order is still pending uh, no ETR provided then I respond, why did I receive a, tech, a call saying that the tech was going to be at my house? And I have a motion sensing camera for my driveway and I never got any notification that a tech had come up to the house. But they said that uh, the line that is running to your house is damaged basically and they need to replace it first because that needs to be fixed before we can have service. That was told to me by George. Okay, let's see says that the cable location needs to be replaced on our road. And then I, was, I asked them, can I have my install money back since there is no ETA of when the line down the road will get fixed? We could use that money in the meantime. And Matt told me that um, that they do apologize that no one has reached out to give me an ETA when that will be fixed. What is a good email address and callback number? So I gave him two of my email addresses and the order number and my phone number. And he says, please give me a few moments to take a look at your account. And no response that day. <laughs> so they just dropped the ball again. Then October 18th, this, this is, is crazy. And that's why I'm making this video because if I didn't document it, I don't think other customers would realize how bad the customer experience can be. So on the 18th, I said that we were going on eight weeks since I ordered the service. What is the deal? Then they asked, Eva asked me for the account number. Gave her the account number. I guess later in the day, uh, Christina said that tech named Chris is assigned to my ticket and he's looking uh, on track to install today. And then I respond, I still never received a call from a tech during the last two months. This install and the first few months needs to be free since I've had a nightmare trying to get the internet. This is ridiculous. 
And then Christina says he should give you a call when he is leaving the job before he's heading to you. I have noted on his ticket uh, to make sure that he does give me a call. This is what Christina told me. Then October 18th, I said, they must not read the notes because I've received no calls. Frontier is a joke. Then uh, Kai uh, tells me, what I'm going to do is to put you in for an account manager to contact you. Would you mind providing a good contact number? So then I did receive an email from an account manager, Joan, and this was 1019. She apologized for the delay, reaching out to me, saying that she has received the post regarding the service is still not installed and that she will take ownership until the issue is resolved. Now I'll go over to my Facebook page and I made a post, I think the day after I got an account manager, tech ended up showing up. On October 19th, I said, I spotted this endangered animal in the wild. The Frontier van has only been spotted a few times this decade. Somehow, after eight weeks, we actually have internet being provided by Frontier. Is it the end of the story? No. So the tech comes and installs the internet. Now, in high school, I did some electrical work in a chicken barn, and I was always taught that how you install and do your work, you're pretty much putting your name on it. Well, this was by far the sloppiest install I have ever seen. Hi, so I want to show you some of the things that Frontier did that seemed to be a very lazy install. Issue number one, left this open, lost the screw, and then just left that cut. This is not put back, and then this is actually cracked here. And the worst of all, okay, so I understand that I need to go through this wall here. But if you look on the inside here, the cord comes down here, is zigzagged around this nail zigzagged around that nail and then punched a hole right through the wall with that and what really upset me was that he used one of my tools to push a hole through the drywall when the top of the wall was open that all he had to do was feed it down through there what I did here was I unscrewed the phone line from there and rerouted it. And this is only here because I had a, a nail here, but I could position that there to be a lot tidier. Remove the phone line from there and unrouted it from those screws. And I was amazed up there, the top of the wall was open and the phone line just went down. So then I have the router running over here. They waived the install fee, but they're still wanting me to pay for the first month of internet. I'm sending this video to the office of the president for Frontier Communications. And so what I'm asking of Frontier is that, yes, thanks for having the free install. Um, if you made me pay for that, I don't, <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. But I don't think that I should pay for the first month or the second month. And I would like for that $25 discount through October 18th of 2020 to be increased to $30 a month until October 18th, 
2020. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I want potential customers out there to know the facts, to know the situation. Now, if this was just one person in the company that was an outlier, that's one thing. But time and time again, I had someone from Frontier say, hey, we're gonna have a tech call you. Hey, they're gonna come to your house and install the internet. I felt like that they were, had a stick with a carrot saying, hey, be hopeful that the internet's gonna be installed today. And it was frustrating. Good thing I had internet before I tried to get Frontier. I think that Frontier needs to train their employees, train their techs better to, if you're gonna say that a tech is going to call, make sure the tech is going to call the person to give them the status update. Don't make empty promises. And I'm leaving the rest up to Frontier to make things right. I appreciate your time for watching this video and feel free to leave any comments below. Feel free to share this video to other potential Frontier customers. Thank you for your time and this has been Farmer Brad. Have a good evening.